Welcome guys, Luca here with a Perma Block Stamina DK Tank build. I call it the Mutant Turtle build. My first 5 set piece is Iron Blood, which drops in Fire Wreath Hold, combined with his Zap, an Overland set, and Blood Spawn, the most common monster set for DKs. With Iron Blood, we gain a unique 30% damage reduction bonus, but keep in mind, it snares us for 50% too. His Zap, our healing set, which gives a powerful hot for 5 seconds if you get stunned, immobilized, or snared. Iron Blood doesn't proc his Zap, but the combination is unbeatable. Against multiple targets, Templars, you will get basically permanently snared. The heal is insane. I had a couple of fights where his Zap hit or even more than our main heal, Vigor. You may ask me, Luca, why I should play a full tank build. It's mainly for fun reasons, but it can be helpful too. With one or two bombers in your group, you can stack multiple targets for a really long time. With range bombers, you don't even have to step close to kill all of them with Plague Break in combination with Death, for example, or Dark Convergence with Vicious Death. Let's talk about the traits and glyphs. I'm on full. Sturdy, keep in mind it's a perma block build, so we need full sturdy here, it's really really important. Then glyphs max HP, I only have one prismatic, but full max HP is better. 6 heavy, 1 medium, you can also go with 7 heavy if you want. Then full infused with block cost reduction on the jewelry. Sturdy shield front and back bar and both weapons indecisive. You can also go with power tier on the back bar since we have our main skill heats on the back bar like Vigor and Dragon Blood. Alternative setups instead of Iron Blood if you don't have access to DLCs you can still use Leeching Plate. This one. It deals poison damage and it heals sometimes even more than Hyssop. Depends on uh, the positioning and it gives a ton of stamina back thanks to the DK passive combustion here which gives 1k stamina back if you deal poison damage every 0.5 seconds. Alternative to his zap you could still use battalion defender this one here or even Bahara's Curse, like in my old tank setups. But, like I said before, those are more for close corner fights, not for open field. You need to be somewhere close to the target, like behind a crate, for example. Alternative to Bloodspawn, you could use Malubeth for Major Vitality or Stonekeeper. But I'll be honest with you, Bloodspawn is way better than those two other monster sets. Poison, still the escape is poisons for extra CC immunity. Skills, defense stands on both bars for the block mitigation and for the block cost reduction, 10% each. Revealing Flare, also on both bars for major protection, just slotted, it's insane. Then Cauterize as extra heal, Hardened Armor, our resistance buff, and Meditate or Deep Thoughts. If you have time, you can use it, but I mainly do heavy attacks to restore my stamina. Depends on the situation. Spell Wall, our main ultimate. Then Back Bar, Fragmented Shield, that's our main bar, by the way. Fragmented Shield gives Major Mending and Minor Brutality and a small shield too. Then Resolving Vigor, our main heal. Green Dragon Blood, that's a Plan B Burst heal. If I'm in trouble, I mainly use Green Dragon Blood, I just spam it for two or three times in a row. But keep in mind you need to have Vigor always up. That's your main priority, only if you're really in trouble use Dragon Blood if you're low HP. Then Temporal Guard, just slotted ultimate for minor protection, but you can also do some 
nice place to uh, outplay your enemies. Race, I'm not for extra resistance. Ulti region, stamina and HP. Imperial is a good option here. Mundus the Ritual for 8% extra healing. And Sugar Scouts the Tristed Food as buff food. 34 points in health and 30 in stamina. We almost have 39k HP and almost 23k stamina. That's more than enough here. Look at the Max Magica 19k. But we need it. Definitely, we have a lot of magic abilities. We need to keep up fragmented shield for major mending. Then, if you have trouble, green dragon blood, cauterize, and hardened armor, another two magic abilities. I've tested the max stamina and max HP food. Where is it? This one. But like I said before, I need the max magic pool for all those magic abilities. Potions, I mainly use the Tricer Potions, sometimes the Resistance Potions. CPs, Blue Ones, Focused Mending for 10% extra healing on our single target abilities. Duelist Rebuff, 10% damage reduction against single target attacks. Ironclad against direct damage and Unassailable against EOEs. Red ones, Bracing Anchor, 20% block mitigation, but it also snares for 16%. That's why I call this build Turtle, by the way. We are slow as fuck, but it really doesn't matter. Paints Refuge, another 20% damage mitigation, which is pretty easy to get if you have 10, 15, 20 targets on you. Slippery to automatic ECC break without any costs. Our last red CP is a healing CP called Soothing Shield. It heals for 735 health. Keep in mind, in PvP environments you will get only 55% less than that. So 45% which are 350 to 400 HP. But against multiple targets, against 10, 15, 20 plus, this red CP hits sometimes even more than Hesep, our 5 set piece bonus. So pretty strong alternative, you could go with On Guard for more block mitigation, but I prefer Soothing Shield. That's it with the turtle build, if you want to see a full gameplay footage, I will Link it in the description below, check it out. Don't forget to sub my channel, leave a like and a comment below, like always. Thanks for watching guys, I wish you all happy holidays and I see you hopefully in the next video.